numbers from 41 to 45. Hello friends, I am Parrot. I would like to welcome you to this course. Let us first see what will you learn in this chapter. Numbers from 41 to 45. Also, to read these numbers in the form of single units and groups of 10. While cleaning the house today, Pinky and Chotu found a packet of pearls. Looking at it, they thought they should make a beautiful necklace with these pearls. Pinky, how many pearls have you put in the necklace? I have made the necklace with 25 pearls. Pinky, how did you get to know that this necklace is made up of 25 pearls? See, first of all, I put 10 yellow pearls in the necklace and then I put 10 red pearls. So, two groups of 10 pearls each. That becomes 20 pearls. Then I put 5 yellow pearls more. So, that becomes 20 and 5. That is 25 in total. Alright, now let me also count my pearls. First, I put 10 red pearls and after that, I put 10 yellow pearls. After this, I put 10 more red pearls, which means my necklace has 3 sets of 10, which makes it 30 pearls. And there are 3 remaining pearls, so the total pearls are 33. Our necklace is now ready. Now let us go and play Chotu. Chotu and Pinky have a lot of fun while collecting different kinds of stones. Today they are collecting stones in a nearby garden. Pinky, today let us collect lots of stones. Yes, Chotu, let us find different different types of stones. Chotu and Pinky start collecting stones. Chotu, how many stones have you collected? Wait Pinky, let me count and tell you. But these are so many stones, how should I count them? See, first of all keep them in groups of 10 each and then tell me how many groups of 10 each do you have? Pinky, I have 4 groups of 10 each. So, 4 groups of 10 each means you have a total of 40 stones. Pinky, look here, there are 5 other stones too. We have not counted them. Alright Chotu, now let us count them too. First, we had 40 stones and now there are 5 more stones. So, they are 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. This means you collected 45 stones. Pinky, can you tell me how many groups of 10 and how many single units are there in 45? Yes, Chotu. 45 has 4 groups of 10 and 5 single units. You are absolutely right. Pinky, now let us take these home. So children, that's it for today. In this video, you learnt about the numbers from 41 till 45 and how to read them in the form of single units and groups of 10. In next video, we will look at some more interesting examples of reading the numbers from 41 to 45 in the form of single units and groups of 10. And we will learn about the numbers from 46 to 50. So till then, bye children. Hello children, in the previous video, we learnt the numbers from 41 to 45 and we also learnt how to read them in the form of single units and in groups of tens. In this video, we will look at some more interesting examples of reading the numbers from 41 to 45 in the form of single units and groups of ten. 
also we will learn about the numbers from 46 to 50 today pinky and chotu are very happy they have to go out for a birthday celebration of their friend sonu today evening they have got different colored stars from the market with the help of these stars they will decorate a birthday card for Sonu. Pinky, see, it seems that there are many stars in this packet. Chotu, come on, let us count all these stars. I have divided these stars in four groups of 10 each. This means 10, 20, 30 and 40. So, the total number of stars are 40. So, now how many stars are left, Chotu? Now there are 7 stars left. This means 40 stars and 7 stars. So, these will be 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47. So, the total number of stars are 47. Right, Pinky? Yes, Chotu. This means we have 4 groups of 10 and along with this, 7 single units. Now, let us decorate the birthday card with the help of these stars. Today, a lot of guests are expected to visit Chotu's home. Chotu's mother has sent Chotu to get 50 spoons from the Almira. Pinky, let us go and get spoons for guests from the Almira. Chotu, it will take a lot of time to count 50 spoons. No, Pinky, see, these are 4 groups of 10 spoons each. Children, can you tell how many spoons have Chotu and Pinky found? Let us see. Right now, we have got 4 groups of 10 spoons each. So, these are 40 spoons in total. How many more spoons do we need, Chotu? We need a total of 50 spoons. So, it means we need 5 groups of 10 spoons each. Right now, we have 4 groups. So, this means we need 1 more group of 10. Come on, Chotu. Let us count the spoons. So, these are 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. So, these are 5 groups of 10 each, which means 50 spoons. Pinky, now let us go and give the spoons to mother. Children, you just saw that Pinky and Chotu had 47 stars and 50 spoons. Can you tell how many groups of 10 and how many single units are there in these? Let us see. There are 4 groups of 10 and 7 single units in 47. And there are 5 groups of 10 in 50. There are no separate single units in 50. And that's why 0 single units. Children, so that's it for today. In this video, we saw the numbers from 41 to 50. And some interesting examples of looking at these in the form of groups of 10 and single units. In the next video, we will see some more interesting examples of numbers from 41 to 50. And we will learn about some common mistakes which should not be done. Till then, bye children. Interesting examples of numbers from 41 to 50. Hello children. In the previous video, we saw some interesting examples of numbers from
from 41 to 50. In this video, we will look at some more interesting examples of the numbers from 41 to 50 and we will learn about some common mistakes which should not be done. It is the winter season. Chotu and his mother are making crispy snacks. Papad sitting on the roof. Chotu is also helping his mother. Chotu, I am keeping 10 papad each in every plate. You keep these plates under the sun so that the papad can dry up. Alright mother, I will keep them. Chotu, I gave you 5 plates to be kept under the sun. Can you count and tell me how many total papad have you kept under the sun to get dried up? Mother, I have kept 5 groups of 10 papad each which means a total of 15 papad under the sun. No Chotu, you are counting wrong. If one plate has 10 papad, then how many papad will there be in 5 plates? But mother, if we add 10 papad and 5 plates, then the total will be 15 only, right? Yes Chotu, you said it right. But 15 only has 1 10, 1 group of 10 and 5 ones. But here there are 5 groups of 10 each, which means 5 times 10, 5 tenors. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So in total there are 50 papad. Alright, now I have understood mother. These are 50 papad and not 15. Today the teacher asked all the children to get rajma beans and some small packets from home. They have to show 43 rajma beans with the help of sets of 10 rajma beans and some loose rajma beans. Aarti, we will have a lot of fun today. See, I have 4 packets with the rajma beans. How many packets have you made? Chutu, I have made 3 packets. In 3 packets, there are 10 10 rajma beans each. Now I want 4 rajma beans more. Then the total will be 43 rajma beans. Right Chutu? No Aarti, you are not counting it correctly. One packet has 10 beans of rajma and you have made 3 packets like these. So, that makes it 30 rajma beans, which means 3 sets of 10 each. And along with this, 4 beans, which means 4 single units. So, in total, there will be 34 rajma beans. But we want 43 rajma beans. Oh yes, Chotu, I want 4 packets of 10 rajma beans each. And along with this, 3 single beans and then there will be 43 rajma beans. Yes Aarti, 4 packets with 10 rajma beans each means 4 groups of 10 10 rajma beans and along with this 3 loose rajma beans means 3 single units. Then the total will be 43 rajma beans. So children, this is all for today. In these videos, we learnt about the numbers 41 till 50. I hope that you all have understood this topic well. Bye friends.